Welcome, electronic video guests, to the 2022 college football season. Well, we're just a couple of days away from kickoff on another football season. That is reason for rejoice. Now, it is kind of a slim slate of games to start the season. So we really don't have too much to talk about. The only game we're really going to discuss in this episode is the only matchup between Power 5 teams from old Dublin, Ireland, of all places. We've got Nebraska, a 13-point favorite over the Wildcats of Northwestern. So when this is your highlight game, you know you've got a slim, slim slate of games. But we're going to watch it. It's the first game of the year. We've been waiting for football for a long time. Now, I remember when Nebraska first hired Scott Frost... Uh, the athletic director, I think his name was Moose, Bullwinkle, to, Bullwinkle T. Moose, I think it was. He said, well, Ohio State and Michigan just got a little scared. <laughs> well, it's kind of funny. The previous coach, Mike Riley, was never liked by the Nebraska fan base. They thought he was too soft for mighty Nebraska. The entire fan base thought they died and went to heaven when the prodigal son, Scott Frost, came back to Lincoln. But what a humbling first four years it's been for the Nebraska fan base, and especially for Scott Frost himself. Frost was pretty smug his first couple of years, and as they lose game after game, he blamed the culture he inherited. Now that was a very, very low class. Blaming his own failures on the previous coach, Mike Riley. But now four years in, the hard truth is, Scott Frost has coached six more games than Mike Riley coached, and he still hasn't won as many games as Riley did. Now, like Jim Harbaugh last year, Frost has had to take a pay cut this year to keep his job. Let's see if he gets the same results Coach Harbaugh did. Let's see if he gets a Big Ten championship. I think the odds on that are pretty slim. But we'll see. He gets Northwestern in the opener, and they are probably the worst team in the Big Ten. Now, we still don't even know who the quarterback is. Uh, supposedly maybe it's going to be Ryan Helinski. If he lived up to his uh, high school ranking, maybe things Northwestern might have a shot, but we don't even know if he's going to get the starting job. Of course, Nebraska opened last season playing supposedly the worst team in the Big Ten, Illinois, and Illinois ran all over them. The Cornhuskers have a new quarterback this year. Texas transfer Casey Thompson takes over for Adrian Martinez, who seemed like he'd been the QB for the last 10 years at Nebraska. Well, this is actually a huge game for Scott Frost. If he blows the season opener to another Big Ten bottom feeder, the countdown will be on to his dismissal. I'm tempted to pick Northwestern. But with Adrian Martinez and his uncanny knack for making the critical mistake at the critical point in the game gone, maybe uh, and maybe he took that black cloud hanging over Frost's head to Kansas State where he transferred for, uh, to play his 12th year of college ball. So I'm going to pick old Scott Frost in Nebraska in this one, and I think they're going to cover the 13 also. After all, even with Martinez, they managed to crush Northwestern last year, 56-7. But I think college football fans everywhere will be pulling for a wildcat upset. 
just to see the look of doom that will crease Scott Frost's face if he walks off the Dublin, Ireland field a loser. We love these Scott Frost sad faces. <laughs> Scott Frost after a loss is the best thing in college football. Uh, anyway, also don't ask me why they're playing this game in Dublin, Ireland. Uh, the most Irish thing about either of these teams is the old Northwestern coach, old Patty Fitzgerald. Maybe they're playing it in Dublin because they know nobody over there realizes Nebraska and Northwestern aren't very good. And they can just sell some tickets on the novelty value. And maybe they can get Sinead O'Connor or you too to do the national anthem. Who knows? But that's it for our first pick of the year. We're going with Nebraska. Over Northwestern, we're taking Nebraska minus 13. We think they'll cover. All right. Since we only have one game, let's fill this out a little bit more. Let's open up a box of Bowman 2021-22 college football. And remember, if you happen to buy a box of this for yourself, look here real close. Heed the warning, ages 6 plus, do not give any of these cards to a 5 year old or younger. You could be arrested for corrupting the morals of a minor. You don't want that, ages 6 only. Alright, let's open up this Bowman box of 2021-22 college football. Let's see if we get some big star players. I think what we're going to be looking for, according to this box, pink refractors, four of them. Now, there's a, there's seven packs in the box, but it says, what does it say? There's only four cards, four cards per pack, so there's not a lot of cards. I think this cost me like 20 bucks at Target or something like that. Right, let's see what we get. College football cards, Bowman 2020, 21-22. Let's see what we get in our first pack. Let's see what we get in our Bowman football cards. Peyton Thorne, Michigan State quarterback. That's his Bowman first. Peyton Thorne, I don't want that card. Where's my crap pile? I gotta put any Spartan on that old crap pile. I, I gotta move out of respect, Lynn Dawson, out of the way. Let me put that crap pile here and Peyton Thorne right out of the bag. You're going on the crap pile, buddy. Now, what do we got next? Jerome Ford. I think he's in the NFL now. There's a pink card. Mike Harley. I don't know who Mike Harley is. Who is it, Mike Harley? I don't know. Mike Harley. Jalen Tolbert? Oh, Louisville quarterback Malik Cunningham. That's kind of a nice one. Not bad. Right, so we got one good card out of there. Let's see what we get in our next pack. Now we get in our next pack. Oh, Sam Howell. He's with the Commanders now. I like Sam Howell. I think he's going to be maybe the steal of the draft. I think they got him on the fifth round. He's going to be a good quarterback. I like him. Now this is a B. John Robinson. Very nice. He's a Heisman contender. That's kind of a nice looking card. Very nice. Let me put that in the good card pile. Marvin Mims. Devin Lloyd. He was a first round draft choice. Where's that card? Let me put some of these aside. We might give some of these away if anybody wants them. Let's see. Let's go on to pack number three. Bowman college football, college football season coming up. 
Ooh, C.J. Stroud, possible Heisman contender from the Ohio State. What does it say about the Ohio State quarterback? Anything interesting? Pinpoint pass or... Mm, yeah, okay. Desmond Ritter, he's with the Falcons now. I'll put that over there. What's this? Pink Hudson card. Oh, boy. Sarkeesian keeps yanking this poor kid around. Once again, he's put Hudson card on the bench this time for Quinn Ewers. I'll tell you what, this guy's a longhorn through and through to put up with all he's had to put up with the Sarkeesian down there at Texas. Hudson card. Jalen Watson. Oh, Braylon Allen. He could be a, a sneaky dark horse contender for the uh, Heisman. He's going to get a lot of yards at Wisconsin this year. A lot of carries and a lot of yards. He saved their season last year. All right, let's see what we get in this next pack. College football. Chase Garbers. John Metzger. I think he got injured, unfortunately. Golden Boy. <laughs> Bo Nix. I think he was a Golden Boy about eight or nine years ago when his college career started. I don't even remember now where he transferred to. Bo Nix. should say former Golden Boy. Tyler Beatty. All right. All right. College football. <laughs> Brandon Peters. <laughs> Brandon Peters. All right. Kennedy Brooks. Ah, pink Desmond Ritter. Make an adjustment here. And what else we got? Josh Downs. And oh, Zach Evans, pretty good running back. Now I got two packs left to college football. What do we got? Khalil Shakur. Kenneth Walker, that's a nice card. He's with the Seahawks now. Chris Olav from the Ohio State. And a Harrison Bailey. All right, last pack. Nothing too sensational so far. What do we got? Chris Rodriguez. Very nice. He might have a big year for Kentucky. Ah, what else? A couple more cards. Another B. John Robinson. Chase Garbers out of 299, unfortunately. That's <laughs> too bad it's Chase Garbers and not C.J. Stroud. Jaden Reed in our last one. Michael Penix Jr. I think I just read he was won the starting job for Washington. He had some decent moments for Indiana, including that great upset of Penn State a couple of years ago. All right, here's what we do. If anybody wants this Peyton Thorn card, or if you want a Golden Boy Bo Nix card, a pink Hudson card, Desmond Ritter, Cunningham, Sam Howell, B. John Robinson. If you want one of those cards, just claim it down there in the comments. The first person who claims one of those cards will get it. You just got to claim it in the comments and then uh, send me an email. Hank.youtube at Yandex.com or direct message 
on Twitter at HL Rassico. Choose either of those uh, formats and send me a mailing address and I'll send you the card in a plain white envelope. Let's keep it uh, maybe two cards per person. We don't get too many people watching these videos. So you can claim up to two of those cards and then just contact me one of these two ways with the mailing address and I'll mail it out to you. I'll show you those cards again real quick. We got the B. John Robinson, Sam Howell, Malik Cunningham, Desmond Ritter, Pink Hudson card, Golden Boy Knicks, and the old Spartan quarterback, Peyton Thorne. You want one of those? Contact me. Let me know your mailing address. All right. That's our first episode of 2022 College Football. Remember, we're picking Nebraska. All right. That's it. We're ready to dump this thing into the YouTube air fill. And we will be back another day or so. We've got some TTM videos coming up. God willing, of course. Until then, enjoy the rest of your life.